Yo, 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 yo. What's good, what's good, what's good, everybody? This is your boy, Notes215. Welcome to my Killer Kicks podcast. It's about to go down today. I got two very dope topics. We're going to be talking about the beef. The beef that went on on January 26, 2016. <laughs> that sounds like a wrestler there, right? Where, so the beef that went down on January between... Uh, Perfect Pair and Mayor And also we're going to be talking about the releases that's coming out on Saturday So before I even get into these two topics man I just want to ask everybody to subscribe Please hit the like button if you like this Please hit the don't like button The thumbs down The hater button (laughs) Hit that hater button man Even if you don't like it Hit the hater button man If you like it Hit the like button If you don't Hit the hater button (laughs) Please comment on this too, man, on any one of these topics, man. Let me know um, your thoughts, man, on like what you think that's going on, all right? So we're going to talk about the beef, the beef, the beef, the beef. What happened? What happened? <laughs> oh, man. So let's talk about it. Um, it went down on January 26th in Instagram, the beef between... Perfect Pair, a.k.a. Kenny G versus Mayor, a.k.a. Mark. Man. And uh, the beef with this kind of started through a... Kind of started through a podcast called The Sit Down. There's a YouTube channel called The Sit Down uh, with um, Don Drew. And he interviews a lot of great people. Um, I actually enjoyed watching his content And um, he recently uh, did an interview with Mayor Maybe like a little over a month ago And they had a lot of discussions One of the discussions was about Perfect Pair And he was basically saying that Perfect Pair uh, was a fraud You know, he, um, he bought his collection He used to collect vans That's what Mayor said <laughs> And um, off the record, I heard, you know, I've, I've heard that he said, you know, certain things off the record, like I'll smack him up and all the other extraness. And then you have uh, the perfect pair, man, uh, which has a lot of money, uh, born into wealth, owns a couple of casinos in Vegas. Um, so, you know, the perfect pair's life is a little bit different, you know. Uh, Mayor says that he don't sell sneakers, but um, 2014 or 2015, he did sell roughly about 400 pairs of shoes from his collection um, because he needed a down payment to buy a house. So I just want to I want you to keep that in mind that there's differences, you know, Mayor might have. All the sneakers that a lot of people dream of. You know, he might have the cars and the jewelry and all this other stuff. But, you know, when you tight, you tight. And the only thing that you look at is shoes. You know, you have one of the largest collections in the shoe culture. So why not flip it? But if you're flipping it, it's because you don't got bread like that. To use that money to put the money down. Or I could be wrong. Who knows? Who knows? I could be wrong. But nonetheless, these two are beefing. They don't like each other. And let me tell you exactly what happened. Um in Instagram, I guess somebody asked the perfect pair a question that led to his answer. I do not know what the question was because the screenshot that I was sent as a text message doesn't show what did they ask him. I think even like on the like, you know, like on the Facebook groups and stuff like that, which that's where the picture started to pop up. um, They don't even like nobody even shows like what the person asked him. But his answer to me kind of made me dislike the perfect pair because 
if you're in a situation where somebody's asking you a question that's pertaining to a beef and you already have spoke about it in another interview with somebody, then you could just let them know, hey, you know, like I already spoke about the situation. If you want to know how I feel about Mayor, go on YouTube, you know, type in such and such and the interview will come up. And I think he could have easily did that. One thing about Mayor, which I respect, you know, I follow him on Periscope. Um, a couple weeks ago, or I want to say a month ago, uh, the perfect pair's mother passed away. And um, people just started, like, commenting, yo, yo, what's up, man, with the perfect pair? What's up with the perfect pair? And he was like, yo, do me a favor. The next person that asks me about the perfect pair is going to get blocked. I'm not going to talk about the perfect pair. That man's father, uh, uh, that man's mother just died. You know, I'm not, you know, he's he's going through a real tough situation right now. I'm not going to talk about this. If I ever see him, then we'll solve it. If I don't, then it is what it is. But I'm not going to speak about that man. So I actually respected that, you know, he could have dogged them out. And, um, you know, I think that the perfect pair should know that, you know. But instead, you know, he acted like a clown with this. So let's get into it. Let's cut this music off. Let's get into this. Um, I'm going to read to you exactly what was the perfect pair respond to the question that they asked him. And then I'm going to read to you what Mayer said. And you just let me know um, who you like the most. Uh, so the perfect pair, I, you know, he... He kind of got grimy here a little bit <laughs> towards the end, but let's get into what he said. He said, uh, they fall in love with words, not actions. My actions will and have always spoke. I don't need validation from Mayor. He pulled me to the side in Las Vegas, paid for my meal, and tried to snake me. And it almost worked. So he called my wife asking for drop front box discounts. I have never been or will be in the business of selling plastic drop fronts. So why call my wife? Shouldn't he have called first the boss, check in with the boss, then call my wife if I okay it? No. He just called our supposed manager, his friend, again, another clown. These cats see what I'm doing and trying to figure it out. Won't happen because they would never understand this takes true passion, not diamonds, money, or hat kick sideways. And for the record, I'm 38. He's like 42 or something like that. He said we the same age, trying to age me. <laughs> Laugh my ass off. Stay up and keep killing those pics. So, <laughs> you know, that was his answer. And again, like, my whole issue with that is that he spoke about that. That very same issue, he spoke about it in that video. So why even bring it up? Why not just say, you know what? Damn, like, you could just type in such and such on YouTube. And you could just see what I have, you know, to say about Mayor. But he didn't do that. He answered. So I'm guessing everybody started hitting on Mayor. Yo, perfect pair commented about you. Because remember, he ain't at him. That was another clown move, I think, in his behalf. If he's speaking about him, then he should mention him. So I guess Mayor gets, hit, you know, wind of it. And then Mayor responds. <laughs> and this is what Mayor says. You fucking clown. If you're going to say my name, man up and at me. You mad because I called your wife about a discount for boxes when she gave me her number? Tell the truth. You caught feelings when I was in Las Vegas for Air Max Day, and I didn't come check you. I just met you, and you want me to come check you? Clown. You was butt hurt because Nike didn't invite you to the event. I have the text messages. You want to talk shit? Talk shit in Vegas to my face. This is the only response you get out of me. Man up in Vegas if you show up. Perfect punk. Oops, I mean, perfect pair. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. 
Yo, that ending was very, 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 very cheesy. <laughs> oops, oops. Come on, man. You show, you kind of show your true age right there when you say oops. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so uh, I mean, let me know, man, what you think about this. I was having a discussion with my uh, with my homie, and like he doesn't like me, you know. He's like, yo, like he's he's forty three. He's like, man, he's forty three, walking around with that hat kicked to the side, you know. Like, come on, man, like you forty three, and you know, to my defense, I mean, that doesn't mean anything. There's a lot of people in their forties that's that they still think that they're in their mid twenties. I know I know guys in their forties who still walk around with their jeans sagging. The guys who still wear two X T shirts, the shirt don't even fit them. You know, looking all crazy. So I mean like there's people out there that's like that. So I really can't I I, I can't say that he's trying to be anything but young. I just think that that's like a mental problem. That's a mental issue. You know, um, shit. Like, I sit down and I wonder sometime at what age am I going to stop wearing Supreme and, you know, you know, kind of looking like what everybody looks like in the shoe culture. You know, I, I often, you know, wonder that. But, I mean, it is what it is. You know, this is something that I enjoy and I think as you get older, you look flyer and like gear, man. Like look at all these Instagram pictures, man, that you be finding of like old guys, you know, with the not not the train station pictures, <laughs> not the train station pictures, but you know the 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 guy who's in his 60s with gray hair, you know, and he still got that, you know, he still got baby. I mean, yo, look at man Robin Williams, man. He used to wear a lot of big stuff, a lot of big stuff. You know, and and he looked it cool, man. Like nothing looked it corny about him. So I really can't say that he's wrong for looking the way that he looks because in his mind, you know, that's what he's not ready, to, you know, to let go. And that's what you have to understand. Everybody's life is different, and and everybody's gonna let go of certain things, you know, in different times of their life. So you know. I'm going to just end it with that, man. Just let me know what you think about that whole situation. If it's whack. Me, personally, I think it's whack, man. Like, y'all already know how I feel about this. Like, y'all beefing over shoes and... I mean, it's stupid. It's even stupid that he got mad that the guy called his wife. If, I mean, if if she owns a business, like, I'm not even sure. He doesn't even specify she owns, like, this type of business. But... If she owns a business and he's calling her to inquire about business, what's the big deal about it? Like, it's, 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 it's fucking stupid. Well, like, are you that insecure with your body that you think that May is going to come and seduce your wife? Come on, man. That's stupid. That's stupid. If she has a business, you know, let him call the person who's in charge of the business. And if I was mayor, I would have done the same thing. I'm not going to talk to somebody to make it seem like I need a hookup. Oh, like, let me talk to him first, you know, to, to you know, to make it seem if, like his wife could hook me up with boxes. No, you just talk to his wife. Oh, man, that's that's crazy. This is this is this had to do with he even said it, a phone call that was pertaining to a business matter, a business matter. Not to go out, not to, you know, not to ask no personal questions. Business matter. And you're upset because of that? Wow. (laughs) That's funny. That's crazy. Man, so, uh, yeah. So, let's get into uh, the following topic. Saturday, January 30th is going to be crazy, 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 crazy. Uh, I don't even know where to start, man. I'm going to just go down the list and as I go talk about each shoe, um, I'm going to just give my opinion about the shoe and just go on to the next one. And then I'm going to talk about which shoe, in my opinion, is going to be neck and neck as far as sales go or what 
what might be a interesting uh, competition. Um, so let's start with the with the Jordan Air Jordan Five Low or um, Alternate Ninety. Um, box price one seventy five. She was okay. Um, I'm I'm not a big fan of the red sole because it looks customized to me, and I hate customized shoes. You know, I don't have anything against it. It's just me personally. Uh, me personally, I wouldn't buy any type of shoes that are customized. Um, so the shoe looked like, you know, somebody customized it, and that's why I don't like it. If I was to catch it on sale, then maybe I'll buy it. And you know how things are, man. You actually start to like things years later. I don't even know how to explain that to you. But, hey, if it's a, if it's at a steal price, I mean, you might be in a position where you could just buy it and, you know, just be able to say that you have it. Next, Jordan 2 Dawn Seas. Tag price for that is a real hefty one. The highest one. Out of all the shoes that's coming out on January 30th, the box price is at $650. <laughs> Flight Club already has it at $1,500. So, I mean, that's a nice little flip if you ask me. Um, you know, but is it worth buying? Is the hat really worth getting? Do you need the hat? Did the hat do that bad the last time that you had to force people to buy your stupid hat? Did it do that bad? I mean, Jesus. $650 for an ugly hat that nobody's gonna wear except if you're a, a celebrity or except if you're into like Givenchy and you know all those other uh, luxury sneakers that I don't even know how to pronounce unless if you're into that then I could see you wearing that hat but besides that the average sneaker head is not gonna wear that stupid red ugly hat so you force people into buying that ugly hat in order to be able to get the nice looking sneaker which is a great colorway i mean damn you know it, <laughs> it's crazy it's crazy i actually hope that the shoe sits but we know that that's not going to happen we know that's not going to happen next is the kobe lows 11 box price 200 there's no name for this shoe um but the shoe is dope is a fly knit black and white with a translucent so now i'm not talking about your regular translucent i mean translucid <laughs> see-through you see the whole stitching in the bottom of the shoe all the way up to the uh, uh heel part um they look dope they look dope Honestly, I can't remember what was the last light, what was the last Kobe that I even liked. So this is actually pretty dope. Um, I don't even know if I'll even try to get it, but you know, nonetheless, it's a nice looking shoe. Uh, next one you have Adidas NMD. That's going to be big. That's going to be big. Not only do they have one colorway, but they have three colorways, son. I'm going to be posting pictures of all these shoes on the page where you can actually see what I'm talking about. Dope shoe. Dope shoe. Dope shoe. Three colorways coming out. All look very nice. I'm not mad at none of them. <laughs> so then 
you have the EQT boost. So Adidas did an EQT model and put a ultra boost sole on it. Looks very nice if you ask me. Um, I like I like the colorway. So I think it has a dope look to it. Um, right after that, you have a very interesting collaboration. Um, normally, you see uh, two brands collab on one silhouette. Um, but with this, it's almost like a three-way. So, Bape hooked up with Mita to do a collaboration on a Reebok ventilator. Uh, the box price for that will be $145. And the collaboration is dope. Very dope. Actually, one of my favorite drops for Saturday. Um... They will be releasing with two t-shirts. I'm assuming that the t-shirts will be anywhere between $90 to $112. And you have two different images on the shirt. Very dope shirt. Very dope shirt. Um, I, like the cla- I, I like the collab, man. Like I said, one of my favorites for Saturday's drop. Bait. Another one. Sheesh. Two collabs in one month. Kudos to Bait. Kudos to Bate. Bate had did had did another collaboration with Sakani to do the Crew World series. Um, so the model of the shoe they're naming this the Shadow Fifty Five Hundred, and it is a fusion between the Five Thousand and the Six Thousand. And um, in case of you don't know about the Crew World series, they uh, you know they did one last year on the on the Sakani, and uh, it's just basically anything that has to do with uh, worldly events, whether it be catastrophe or bringing up awareness. So they did this shoe to um, help with disabled kids understand their disability and how to help the kids overcome those disabilities by achieving dreams that they might have. So um, the shoe refers to the moon and how basically how man walked on moon and that was a a, a, you know, a dream that may be seen far-fetched, but was very uh, doable, you know, to that person. That's basically how they want you to think of it. They want you to think that, you know, your disability is just that, but that you can overcome it. So, very dope shoe, man. Very dope shoe. I like the way that this shoe looks. I like the hints of 3M. Um, yeah, man, this might be a shoe that I will be trying to pick up. Box price for this shoe is $120. And, um, yeah, you know, I don't see it going past 200 for resale. Maybe less. Somewhere between, like, the 160s and 190 Um, but yeah, dope shoe. Um, right after that, you have another Diodora, another one, two Diodoras dropping in one month. Sadly, this shoe is only available in Tokyo. (laughs) It's only available in Tokyo. Wow. Uh, Diodora did a collaboration with a... What I'm assuming is a boutique store called uh, Japan Beam Label. And um, just from looking online, this this store kind of seems like an urban outfitter. Um, Something, you know, very similar to an out, you know, urban outfitter with a mixture of like J. Crew. Um j crew in the sense of that style of clothing but urban outfitter in the style uh in in the in the style of having different name brands um so yeah so kind of looks like that i really don't know much about the store but they did a theme to represent the love of soccer 
in Tokyo. And a lot of those colors are to represent, I'm assuming it's some of the soccer teams. Um, so the whole outfit is amazing, if you ask me. It's nice looking. I love the trash jacket. I like the, you know, the pants. The t-shirts are dope. Um, I'm trying to figure out what was the box price. So it's uh, 20,000 uh, 20, yens, um, which it's kind of like in close to like the 300 mark uh, because it said that 50,000 yens is like $850. So I'm assuming that 20,000 yens is more like you know mid 200s closer to like that 300 um a lot of people like dislike the shoe i kind of like the shoe i always say that with shoes like that that have a lot of crazy colors you want to look at the foundation of which one is like the main color so that yellow is not too bad and it's not one of those things where it's super hard to match. Me, personally, I'm not one of those people that match my hat with my shirt and my sneakers. <laughs> you know, I just wear whatever sneaker I want to wear. And I just wear whatever clothes I want to wear. Like, all that matching stuff, like, it's corny to me. So, you know, I really don't even care that, you know, um, I'm not going to be able to match it. But some people like to dress like that and that's no disrespect and that's not knocking anybody hey you dress like you want to dress but for people that dress like that tend to have a harder time with shoes like the ones that the door is dropping so um yeah man so those are the shoes that's dropping on saturday oh that's a lot that's a lot i mean if you're in the budget you know what you're going to go for what you're going to go for you're going to go for the bait me personally i like the bait 145 you can't beat that i don't even think that the resale value for those shoes for that shoe is going to be much um so 145 man you can't beat that i wish i knew what was the price for the adidas ndm i mean uh nmd i'm assuming that it'll be around like the 160s you know what you're going to choose i mean to me it's going to be kind of interesting to see how the numbers are going to go up against Don C. <laughs> it's going to be real interesting, you know, to see um, Adidas runners versus a ball sneaker, you know, and you have two different price points. So, I mean, it's going to be interesting, man. It's going to be interesting. You know, Flight Club might lower down that 1500 they might lower it down depending if people are even buying it at that price. Let's see. Let's see. Um, so I hope, man, that you enjoyed this podcast. Uh, please feel free to download my free app, Killer Kicks. It's available for iPhone and Androids. Um, and like I said earlier, man, subscribe. Hit the like button if you like this. Um, dislike it if you don't like it just hit the thumbs down comment let me know how you like this let me know if this is something man that you want to hear if you want to hear me talk about you know these type of issues and these type of these type of topics let me know if the music in the background is okay this is like my first time doing that man like with music i just wanted to try something new um yeah man let me know shout outs to everybody who's been rocking shout out to all my uk brothers shout out to philly shout out to ny uh, all my peers, man, to everybody who shows constant support, man. I thank you. I thank you. So till next time, everybody. Peace out. Peace out. <laughs>